In order to further pressure China to lower its interest rates and be more receptive to U.S. business interests, the U.S. is currently conducting negotiations with Vietnam to allow them to purchase nuclear materials. These talks were leaked to the media last week. This new move is clearly a new maneuver in undermining China's influence in Asia. A Wall Street Journal published an article on August 3rd saying that Washington was in advanced negotiations with Hanoi to sell nuclear fuel and technology. This deal would enable Vietnam to enrich its own uranium to produce fuel for its power reactors. But it would have to be monitored by the International Atomic Energy Agency. It's interesting to note how the Obama administration has been publicly adamant about nuclear non-proliferation with Iran while now working deals to sell nuclear technology to Vietnam. More proof positive the U.S. government has a double standard character when it comes to dealing with foreign policy. This new move is also an insult to the Chinese government. This nuclear deal comes after China already signed a nuclear deal with Vietnam last July. This slight to the pride of the Chinese government will not go unpunished. We'll have to wait and see how Beijing retaliates to this. Vietnam's rapid economic expansion left it short of the necessary energy. The Vietnamese government is planning 13 nuclear stations that will generate 16,000 megawatts. The U.S., Russia, Japanese, Chinese, and French corporations are trying to get their foot in the door for contracts. Russia's Rostom Corp. has already been contracted to build the first nuclear station. U.S. corporations are no doubt dying to get a shot at building a few. However, this new nuclear power will certainly heighten tensions with China and open the door for retaliatory measures.